Join Pastor Benny Hinn in Israel November 1st through the 10th. You'll walk where Jesus walked, from Galilee to Jerusalem, and pray in Gethsemane, take communion at the garden tomb, visit the upper room, sail the Sea of Galilee, be baptized in the Jordan River, and much, much more. So come with me to the Holy Land, to Israel. Life won't be the same, neither will mine. So come, let's experience God in the Holy Land. Visit the ministry website for more information and to download a brochure. Experience Israel with Pastor Benny Hinn. You'll never be the same. Pastor Benny Hinn is celebrating 40 years of ministry, taking the gospel to the nations of the world. Look to our precious Jesus today who saves, heals, delivers, prospers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. An amazing program today. Dr. Eric Breverman is here and he is incredible. Listen, you absolutely got my attention today when you talked about the brain being the number one organ in the body and how if the brain is healthy, then you can reverse sickness in the body. You talked about the four nutrients the brain needs and what happens to the, to the brain if it doesn't have those nutrients. He's written some amazing books, The Amazing Way to Reverse Heart Disease. This is a fantastic book. I love this one here. Younger you, unlock the hidden power of your brain to look and feel 15 years younger. And a whole lot more. And this one, the edge effect, which you said is the brain Bible. And I want to talk about that and more. First, let's welcome this wonderful doctor one more time, <laughs> Dr. Eric Braverman. And um, you've been on, you've been on Larry King, you've been on the Today Show, you've been on O'Reilly, you've been on different shows all over. And I see why. Doc, talk to us about, again, why the brain's health is so important. Okay. Well, there are four ways the brain affects our body, firstly. One is metabolism. When your brain's alive, you burn fuel. So when your brain's alive and really intense and focused and metabolically alive, you stay thin. So the brain cells are actually burning half of your basic calories. So you see with even quadriplegics and people who don't move, if their brain stays alive, they can stay thin. So the brain is a live organ for energy, metabolism, and thinness. Number two, it's your organ of thinking. When your brain's alive, you think well, you think quickly, you have great attention, you have great concentration, you will not get dementia. Your brain can lose about a tenth of a second before it gets demented, and you don't want to lose any speed. So you want to stay fast when all your life. When you say tenth of a second, you mean it, where, where you're not thinking as yeah, quick. Really yeah, really quick. In fact, most of us can recall things in, as fast as a third of a second. We think at about one-third of a second. Wow. We react to light at one-twentieth of a second. We react to sound one-tenth of a second, and we think at three-tenths, and we're demented at four-tenths. So we can't lose brain speed. So when you get head trauma, you have blood flow problems, you have hypertension, you have poor diet, you have many illnesses, your brain starts to slow down, you lose uh, seconds off of your fastball, milliseconds. So most of us are slowing down from 30 and 40 on. And you, uh, from right. 30 years on. Yep. And you said also uh, uh, that the brain, if it's not healthy, will affect the heart. Right, well then you go to the next core function of the brain which is to stay calm, not to have anxiety, not to be tense inside. Most of us, when anxiety takes over our life, we get high blood pressure, we eat incorrectly, we get sleep problems, we have we eat, uh, too much salt, we eat too many carbohydrates, then we gain weight, and all of a sudden, a domino effect comes from the brain. So all of a sudden, you lose your energy, you can't think well, you're too anxious, and you're not sleeping well, which is the fourth core area of brain chemistry, and all of a sudden, guess what happens? immune system is poorly regulated, you get thyroid problems, you start to drink too much alcohol, you get pancreas problems, your bone density doesn't stay as healthy because you don't eat enough calcium or take in enough vitamin D, and then you start to calcify your brain, your heart, and other organs. So basically, we are brain chemistry, our brain is our real essence, and our body is nothing more than insulation. 
right? It's like we're circuits. And so we have to realize that this flesh is going to be incorruptible someday, and then we're going to keep the brain alive for longer and longer and longer. And we hope that someday all of us will be uh, at 80 years old, the way a typical 65-year-old He said is. to me today that the brain can live up to 1,000 years. I believe that. Yet the body for only 120, that God made our brains to live for 1,000 years. And if we keep the brain healthy, it affects all the whole body. Also, obesity, you said, is the number one killer. And that's because of people's brains are not healthy. Their brain is losing cells as they get older. In fact, the brain is the only organ that distinguishes us from animals. I mean, animals have, can fly better than us. They have hearts that are bigger. They have organs that are different and superior. The only thing that makes human beings different in many ways is their brain, which is the seat of the Holy Spirit. Now, when it comes to obesity, you have to grow new brain cells. As you age, you lose brain cells, and you keep trying to feed your brain with the wrong food. So you get tricked. More salt, more carbohydrates, more soda pop, more carbonated beverages, uh, more fruit sugar, et cetera. And you, all of a sudden, you find yourself in a spiraling decline where your hormones are going down, you're putting on weight, your abdomen's getting but bigger. But you can and replenish the you, cells. We believe that you can replenish. I mean, I've been in medicine now 33 years working at, with doctors. And I've been writing books since then. And you've trained how many doctors? And I've trained as many as 10,000 doctors have come to me. And we are able to build brain chemistry up with natural hormones, nutrients, herbs, spices, making tea the cornerstone beverage, wait, and wait, help wait. people live Tea loose. the cornerstone beverage, why? Tea is the cornerstone beverage because it has 4,000 natural flavonoids that stop or uh, reduce inflammation. So we know we can have amazing Wait, Say effect. that again, slow down. Reduce inflammation in tea. the body. Tea, tea. can actually tea. reduce? Yes. All kinds of teas? Well, green tea has antioxidant power. Different teas have different compounds in them. Different herbal teas are not even really teas, they're just herbs. So it's complicated, but you can use tea as an anti-inflammatory anti weight loss beverage. And each tea has 4,000? can have as many as 4,000 bioflavonoids or nutrients that help with inflammation and cancer. So when you're eating calories, you want to realize that when you put spices on them, like you put cumin or fennel or rosemary or basil into chicken soup, you just added 30 or 40 nutrients. When you drink tea, you can add up to 4,000 yeah. nutrients. Doc, I want to ask you again. Yeah, go ahead. Give me the four nutrients the brain needs right. for health. All right. Well, four nutrients. Number one energy compounds are tyrosine and phenylalanine. They promote adrenaline okay, in the brain. Okay, now slow down and explain that. What right. is that? Most people don't realize that we have a window to the brain. The window to the brain is that the brain runs on energy, which is called dopamine or adrenaline. And you can get these precursors or the things that make this compound through food. So you get it through uh, protein. There's also herbs like rhodiola, which is like a Siberian ginseng that can promote energy in the brain. And almost all of us are losing energy in the brain. So as we get older, what do we do? More caffeine, more sugar, more caffeine, more sugar. And if we're not so filled with the Holy Spirit, we end up using alcohol, cocaine, right, drugs, yeah. drugs, drugs, drugs. So that's the number one set of compounds that give energy. And we have brain energy nutrients that we package for people. It makes it easier. Number two. Brain memory compounds. The number one brain memory compound is choline. It's in choline. 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 It's in eggs. It's in caviar. It's in fish. It's in all the things that will raise the nutritional levels of acetylcholine in the brain. Now, what do people do when they can't raise it? They smoke. I mean, nicotine is a memory enhancer. Right? It used to be called weed in Jamestown. Back then, they had a debate. Should we legalize weed? Uh, sound familiar? And they legalized nicotine as a battle. As, a, as basically a record. So nicotine can help with your memory, wow. Temporarily, well, yeah, it kills you. Yeah, but then, kill it, 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 of course, it yeah, actually but, kills you. Yeah, I call it Satan's time. burnt offering. Wow. <laughs> uh, you now, pay the price. You get the memory benefit, but then you get lung cancer, thyroid nodules, autoimmune diseases, illnesses all over your body. So the body needs choline, and that's found in eggs and what right. else? eggs, caviar, and there's other nutrients. There's phosphatidylserine, there's carnitine, and they're natural hormones. So women, women, when they hit 50, they lose estrogen, which affects their memory and attention. That's where all the jokes come, women drivers, because their attention is impaired. And we lose a lot of people to attention disorders. 
men included, who lose testosterone, and then they get visually, spatially impaired with directions. Men get lost all the time. They have trouble with faces and all these kinds of things, right? So, so there's a Some lot- Some of the ladies are doing this, so. There's a lot going on with the human brain as it ages. In fact, we are at war to preserve our brain and our faculties. So our books are designed to give you the tools to accompany your spiritual tools to preserve brain energy and stay thin, brain memory and stay thinking, okay, brain calm and stay Give me, Give me the third even. nutrient. It's called GABA, but it's really the brain's Valium. So every drug that we've, uh, you know, if people know about, Valium, Xanax, Ativan, alcohol, marijuana that our kids use are all designed to relax people. And so we give them a, a, a nutritional program like inositol, an electrical device, some nutrients like B vitamins that will relax you and help you not depend on drugs. And there are also natural hormones, pregnenolone, which is over the counter, progesterone, which women start to lose as early as 30, that will calm the brain and be its own natural Valium. And the fourth function of the brain is sleep, and that's serotonin. We use tryptophan, we use melatonin, we can use other natural agents as well. So these four nutrients help the brain stay healthy. They're the brain codes. Just like you've heard of DNA code, there's four letters that make up our genetic uh, makeup. And it's four uh, chemicals that are called purines and pyrimidines. There are four chemicals that make up the brain. And there's a spare tire system, which is endorphins, which is pain. Every time you break down your brain chemistry, guess what you get? Pain, back pain head pain, arm pain, this pain, that pain, emotional pain. So when you're wearing out, as you get older, you get a lot more pain and you end up popping the Tylenol and the aspirin and everything else as your brain is wearing out. Our job is to renew the brain and make the brain more brain cells, more alive, more abundant life. And how do you get brain cells through these nutrients? No, well, some of the nutrients will build brain cells. The latest articles on new brain cells, which is the opposite of aging, where it basically fulfills death will flee from us, or to borrow a line from the Chinese Olympics, death will bolt from us. That guy was so fast, death should bolt from us. All right, and the goal will be that we reverse aging so much that it's beyond even Hezekiah's miracle. And that miracle would be that we are able to build new brain cells, better memory, better attention. Wow. And some of the things that do that are choline. Some of the do that are pregnant alone. Some things that do it are DHEA, thyroid, repair hormones of many types, brain salts, which we now mislabel uh, as antidepressants, but they function as brain salts, where they preserve brain nutrients and they don't actually are for just depression, that's psychological, but they function as neurogenesis or neuron birthing wow. agents. So uh, basically you wanna make your neurons born again, so to speak. Hey listen, I think we've ha we, we have some questions, do we? Sure. Okay, anybody with a, uh, right, let's begin with the dear lady right there. Please. Hi, uh, I was wondering if you could give me some advice on lowering my triglycerides. Okay, how old are you? If I'm allowed to ask I'm in public? Okay. Well, a 55 year old woman has already generally buried her ovaries. I don't know if you had funeral services for your ovaries yet, but uh, uh, we can. The first thing to realize is that fat in the blood is a consequence in part of the fact that you're in menopause. All right, so as estrogen drops, progesterone drops, testosterone drops you're more vulnerable to getting high cholesterol and high triglycerides. So the simple answer would be, oh, take more fish oil, cut out your carbohydrates, take carnitine. You know, you could always use one of the drugs that lower triglycerides. But the better answer is deal with the internal causes of the entire problem of cholesterol and triglycerides, which is menopause. Menopause, women still don't understand. I don't know why everyone's deceived on this, but menopause is like a boulder dropped in the lake and wave after wave hits women. And then at, you know, they get eight waves of it, and at 60 they say, I can't understand it. My skin is dry, my hair is falling out. How did this ever happen? And all the doctor wants to talk about is my triglycerides and cholesterol. They all relate to the death of the ovary, and the death of the ovary is male and female hormones, and we can resurrect that with natural soy let's, or products. Let's see if we have just one more yeah. right there, okay. the, the lady in the, in the red. Doctor, I'm a breast cancer survivor. A year ago, I was in chemotherapy. 
Wow. That's why I'm growing my hair. <laughs> um, I'm an avid walker. I'm eating well, but I still notice I get brain fog with mental retention. Do you have advice on how I can clear out some of the toxins from my body from the chemotherapy? Hmm. Well, uh, there's several things to say. On the toxin side, N-acetylcysteine is an amino acid that's supposed to protect against the ongoing effects of chemotherapy and radiation, as are other antioxidants. Also, PET scan survivors, I mean, breast cancer survivors should know about the PET scan, which will scan and find new lymph nodes. Unfortunately, as you know, there is a high repeat rate. In other words, breast cancer comes back. Everyone should know today that the MRI is the best test of the breast. Breast ultrasound is done with mammogram. Uh, combined together, they're better, but the MRI of the breast is the best way to follow. In terms of the lymph nodes, the PET scan is the best way to follow. Blood tests, which are immune system tests, can be very revealing, as can inflammation markers. In terms of toxin, toxins, in terms of your overall mood, as a rule, breast cancer survivors have brain chemical depression, and they can use my book, Edge Effect, and they can take quizzes and see whether or not the depression is due more to serotonin, sleep, and anxiety factors, or it can be due to low energy, and you can try to supplement that. But the more you improve your mood, the happier you are, the more you basically balance out your brain chemistry, which means even expressing anger, which is important for breast cancer survivors, the more likely your immune system will be able to fight off the next cancer. Uh, just one more question and two. Uh, all right, B, right there, quick, please. I uh, was examined by a heart specialist, said I had aorta stenosis hmm. of the valve. Right. And uh, I'm too old to have a replacement. I was wondering what your advice would be. Well, the first thing to realize and I'll be 86 next month. Right. You're never too old, you know, to try to build your health. I always say that unless you're dead for three days, don't come in, all right? <laughs> On a more serious note, though, the calcification of valves comes, as you can see with your posture and your loss of height, that you have osteoporosis. And the calcium goes everywhere. It goes to the valve, giving aortic stenosis, goes to the brain, hasn't gone to your brain, but it will give dementia. If it goes to the kidneys, it gives you kidney stones. It goes to the gallbladder, gives you gallstones. It goes to the hands, it gives everyone that horrible arthritis that makes their hands look old. Most likely, there are things that you have right now, if we looked at your whole body, that are worse than the aortic stenosis. You're only as young as your oldest part. You've lived this long with aortic stenosis. There are things you can do to prevent it. Blood pressure control, it's a little tricky because it is a risk for certain serious conditions, aortic stenosis. But without examining you, I don't know what your worst part is, but my hunch is you have other problems more serious. And to prevent it, we should have dealt with your osteoporosis sooner. One more question. We're almost out of time. The dear lady up there in the red, please, David. Thank you. Yes, dear. My mother has getting pretty severe dementia. Is there something I can do quickly for her? Hmm. Quickly is difficult, but we should all know that women have a very high rate of dementia because the ovary dies sooner than the testicle. Uh, basically, the ovary is overheating inside the body, and women do not get enough natural estrogen. Women have yet to been taught that the natural hormones of estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone are critical to reversing and preventing dementia. All right, the reason why is because we tried to make a better hormone than God. All right, we forgot the basic principle of the Bible that we're made in the image of God, and therefore all the hormones that are used in the human body should not be synthetic but bioidentical. So we had some very bad experiences with unconventional use of horse hormones and other synthetic hormones throughout society. To do a reversal of dementia quickly is hard. I've had patients who stop speaking and get back and they talk. I have people that are drooling demented individuals be restored, but those are unusual cases. You can actually add new brain cells to an aging person with various hormones, with estrogen, et cetera, natural, natural hormones. You can have better blood flow. You can use drugs like Namenda. You can use electrical stimulation to the brain, but the bottom line is the key to dementia is never slow down. Every woman here still doesn't understand menopause that the books discuss in Younger You, that the ovary has passed away and it's going to come and hurt you very much in terms of your bones, your memory, your attention. So let's get menopause treated properly. Okay, we have time for one more question right there, David. Um, I was wondering um, about Ritalin for ADHD. What do you think about that? 
You know, it's a heartbreaker to me that we've come to a society that not only has the most obese children in the history of the United States, but now we've made it a full-time project to turn them into basically drug addicts and amphetamines. And that doesn't mean that there's no role for Ritalin, but the complete treatment of ADD of children means an entire new approach of society. Diet, wellness, exercise, how much is behavior, what's going on with the parents. Every day I see kids or hear of kids that are on amphetamines as their treatment and they didn't get antidepressants, they didn't get trials of nutrients, they didn't deal with the fact that I have parents that have terrible relationships that's making the kid act out in strange ways. We didn't deal with the school system. Sometimes boys need to be away from girls when they're in education. So we have a cultural disaster that has resulted in the answer that is just standard is try these drugs. And now the physician has become an agent of this cultural disaster. Now listen, there's a lot in these books that will help you. The Amazing Way to Reverse Heart Disease is one book that he's written and you cover everything about reversing heart disease naturally. Arrhythmias, heart valve problems, coronary blockages, cholesterol, homocysteine, HDL, LDL uh, repair. Be my darling, I'm gonna get you this book for you. Okay, uh, the other book, Younger You, Unlock the Hidden Power of Your Brain to Look, Feel 15 Years Younger, I'm gonna give that to Terry. <laughs> It was you, you can get this book, and now, please, just one, one more time. What's in this? This book says you're only as young as your oldest part. So many of you out here have asked me questions, and you say, oh, what's my cholesterol level, or what's my attention problem, what's my memory? And guess what? If I scan you or you take my quiz in this book, and then you, have, self you are sicker elsewhere. And in fact, most people die not of the of the disease they thought they were gonna die of, they die of surprise diseases. And so wow. that's the problem. We're not aware of the hidden illnesses and the trickery that aging is all about. And listen, there are self-tests in these books. Yes. You can test yourself. Uh, this one here, the edge effect. Please tell me about this book. This is, is the brain code. Just like the DNA code was a big breakthrough that will lead to stem cells and, and basically repairing the human body, this book's about how we can keep the brain sharp for that thousand years that we're looking for. And the bottom line is it deals with memory, attention, mood, anxiety, insomnia, and its goal is to teach you the nutrients and hormones so you don't have to live on drugs. Well, how many would like this one here? Wow. Uh, this, one, this one here, Younger You Rainbow Diet Recipes. Now, you're coming up with a brand new one, right. much bigger than this, but you've got some wonderful recipes, especially all the nice herbs and things you talked about today. I'll tell you that it's taken a long time in medicine, 30 years, to realize that I didn't use enough cinnamon, two teaspoons in the morning with vanilla and plain yogurts and, and you know, spicing it up with uh, wheat germ and things like that, or I didn't use enough fennel on my eggs and cumin and my chicken and rosemary and basil and fresh thyme. We are not using spices. They were worth $100 million in the year 1700. We forgot how much they're worth today. And I go over how to use spices, how to use various uh, teas in the actual recipe, and a host of new ideas of a rainbow. And it's a younger you concept because we're always reversing disease. When you reverse disease, you reverse aging, and you get more abundant life. It's amazing. Listen, all these books and more, and he talks about spices and what they do for you. It's amazing, amazing information. You can have all four books for $100 to the, to the ministry. All four. That's a good deal. <laughs> All right, uh, now if you want this book by itself, he only has 2,000 of them, that's all. And they'll go in one show, I think. And then you said you'll reprint, you will get more of them? God willing. All right, the amazing way to reverse heart disease naturally, call today, don't wait, I'm telling you, these four books, but you can get this by itself for only $30. I'm offering this by, by itself because I know a lot of people want that. Wow, doctor, you are so smart. I love it. Let's give the Lord a mighty, mighty hand of praise. Bye-bye. See you again. Wow, you are something else.
Dr. Eric Braverman's revolutionary book, The Amazing Way to Reverse Heart Disease, clearly demonstrates that drugs are not the answer to hypertension and high blood pressure. In this groundbreaking volume, Dr. Braverman, considered to be one of America's most innovative physicians, explains in simple terms how to effectively treat the causes of heart disease, including poor diet, elevated cholesterol, excess weight, stress, and biochemical imbalances without the expense, side effects, and limited usefulness of drugs. You'll learn about the 30 to 90 day, no more hypertension and heart disease disease program, hidden facts about these diseases, 50 foods that raise blood pressure and 50 foods that lower it, strategies to control stress, customized diet plans with recipes and supplements, and much, much more. Dr. Eric Braverman's book, The Amazing Way to Reverse Heart Disease, can be yours today for the low price of only $30. You must have this information to open the way to a longer and better life. Call now. And there's more. Dr. Braverman's Younger You will unlock the hidden power of your brain so you can look and feel 15 years younger. The critical information in this national bestseller shows you how to get younger and healthier now. Repair the highways and side streets of your body. Discover the key to a smarter you. Increase metabolism and fight infections. Combat menopause for women and andropause for men. Reverse the aging of muscle, bone, and skin and develop a whole life plan for better health. In addition, the Edge Effect teaches you how to reverse or prevent Alzheimer's, aging, memory loss, weight gain, sexual dysfunction, and more. And Rainbow Diet Recipes provide specific guidelines to become younger, stronger, and healthier with a proven plan and no guesswork on what and how you should eat. All four of these amazing resources can be yours today through this special television offer for the incredible price of only $100. Don't miss this opportunity to extend the length and improve the quality of your life. Do it for yourself and for your family and loved ones. Call now to order. Persecution of Christians has reached historic levels, with millions worldwide living in fear and suffering for following Jesus Christ. Some estimates indicate that 350 million believers are facing torture, imprisonment, oppression, discrimination, and death. Horrifying statistics reveal that every five minutes, a Christian dies for his or her faith. Pastor Benny Hinn's heart has been broken as he's seen the news stories and heard reports from those who are enduring persecution. And he is asking you to join him now in fervent prayer for those who are facing unspeakable consequences as they stand strong for their beliefs. We must not forget them. Go to the ministry website at www.bennyhinn.org and sign up to join prayer warriors around the globe in praying for persecuted Christians. The prayer of agreement is a powerful spiritual force for effecting change in the natural world. So join this global initiative to intercede for persecuted Christians today. Join Pastor Benny Hinn in Israel November 1st through the 10th. You'll walk where Jesus walked, from Galilee to Jerusalem, and pray in Gethsemane, take communion at the garden tomb, visit the upper room, sail the Sea of Galilee, be baptized in the Jordan River, and much, much more. Visit the ministry website for more information and to download a brochure. Experience Israel with Pastor Benny Hinn. You'll never be the same.